do it, your boy Poke Games back with another video. We are heading to our Hoenn celebration event. Count down the days for the Kanto event. I cannot wait. I'm already approved to be off work for that. <laughs> yeah. We are going to talk about the Pokemon that will be spawning in a while, Pokemon in the raids, uh, and PvP Pokemon that you guys should look out for while hunting this event. First Pokemon will be in the wild will be Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Talo, 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 Loudred, Nosepass, Aaron, Metatite, Roselia, Kovana, uh, uh, Unana, and Numo, and Baltoy, and, and of course, and more, and whatnot. Uh, Pokemon coming from Hatches will be Skitty, Aaron, Corfish, Cor, Corfish, Corfish, Lilip, Anorith, and Bagon, and of course, Beldum. Beldum is back in eggs. I know some people do not like that. I actually don't mind because I need more Beldum candy. And during this event, once you evolve a Beldum all the way up to Metagross, you will get the Calm Day exclusive move, uh, Meteor Mash, which is a really good move for Steel type and build uh, and Metagross in particular. It's like the best move you can have for him or it. So keep that in mind, folks. And we will finally have a well, not new, but we will have Pokemon returning as our five star raid bosses. We will have Kyogre and Groudon, two of the best Pokemon in the game. So if you don't have it, if you don't have a Hundo, if you don't have a Shiny, this will be the time to grind for these shinies. I will be. I don't know about you, but I will be. We will talk about the counters in a different video. I'm going to give each one their separate video because these Pokemon deserve their own individual video for this. Out of the wild spawns that we have, every single one except Loudred, Nosepass, and Numal will be shiny. So if you don't have shiny Metatite like myself, if you don't have shiny AA Ron like myself, then this is what you want to grind for. Now, Corfish and I think it's the only Pokemon, yeah. Corfish is the only Pokemon out of eggs that will not be spawning or that will not be shiny. So it's up to you if you really want to grind those eggs. Uh, for the XP and the, and the Stardust will probably be the only reason why, but uh, I'm hoping that they put Skitty in the wild because Skitty, I don't think, should be an exclusive egg Pokemon. But, the shiny I do not have. So, if it does not spawn in a while, that would be the only reason why I will be incubating eggs. Um, and, of course, build them. Of course, build them, too, because I need those candies. And you get a lot more out of the eggs than catching the Pokemon, of course. And, of course, I need another... I need to rack up my team of Metagross with the exclusive move. We will also be getting three free raid passes, remote raid passes for this event. So it gives you what you need for the special, uh, the special research for this. So when you complete it, you have to battle, or you have to catch two Groudon and two Kyogre. They already give you three raid passes. So this would be a good time to uh, practice your excellent throws and uh, stock up on your, your golden raspberries because Obviously, if you don't catch it, then you have to use your own personal raid passes or buy them, of course. But most people probably buy them anyway, like myself. So, But I have a good success rate of catching them. You know what I'm You know Well, actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. So during this special event, during this special research, once you complete it, you will get 10 Kyogre candies. 10 Groudon candies, and you will get an encounter with the one and only, the infamous, the greatest dragon Pokemon player in, or Pokemon in the game, Rayquaza. And he would know the exclusive move, Hurricane. And the 100% for that will be 1643. And the best part of it is, it can be shiny. So if you don't have that shiny, this would be a good time. You only have one chance of getting it, obviously. I'm sure it'll be back in raids eventually, but right now, if you don't have it, this would be the one time until they bring it back for you to get that shiny. And it's a very beautiful shiny. If you have not seen it, 
there it is. Now the Pokemon you want to look out for if you are a PvPer for this event, you want to look out for Trico, you want to look out for uh, 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 Mudkip, and you want to look out for Metatite. Of course, all three of those can be shiny, because so it makes it even better so you can flex when you, you know what I'm saying, PvP and whatnot, you know what I'm saying. The number one Pokemon for PvP in the Great League will be Metacham, Metatite's Evolution. It is ranked number one and 28. It's ranked number one with the XL. So you want to look for IVs of 5, 15, 15. If you want to hit it with the XL candies. And then if you are looking for it to be ranked number 28, you want to have perfect IVs. So 15 all across the board for number for rank 28. That will be your 100%. Of course, 100% for 28 will be 15 all across, and then 5, 15, 15 for 100% IVs for PvP if you want to add the XL candies to rank it up to level 50. And the move set you want to have on Metacham is Counter, Ice Punch, and Psychic. The next Pokemon you want to look out for is Mudkip. Mudkip is a beast in every single league. Of course, start off with the Master League, you wanted to have 100% IV, so 15, 15, 15 for each category. It is in the top 10 for each rank. And for the Ultra League, you want to have a 0, 14, 13. Again, still ranked in the top 10. And then for Great League, you want to have a 0, 14, 14 for its IVs. And it again, it is ranked within the top 10. The only difference is, for this league, the Shadow outranks the the regular but it's only by two ranks so it's not that that much so if you if you can find a shadow out there with those ivs by all means do your thug thizzle but if not you're okay with the regular the move set you want to have is mud shot hydro cannon which is a community day move so if you don't have one you have to uh use an elite tm to get that move i just want to wait to the end of the year the year just started so that's up to you. And then of course, Sledge Wave. You know, confuse them a little bit with some poison. And then last but not least, you have Sceptile. So you wanna be looking for those tree codes out there in a while. Again, they can all be shiny, so keep that in mind, folks. You want to be looking for one great enough for the Ultra League. And you want to have the IVs of 0, 15, 13. With the Move, Bullet Seed, Leaf Blade, and Earthquake. As you can see, it does not have Frenzy Plant. Uh, I'm assuming maybe the move takes too long, but you don't need Frenzy Plant. And Sceptile is best used in the Ultra League. So those will be the IVs for the Ultra League 0, 15, 13 with the moves Bullet Seed, Leaf Blade, and Earthquake. Now the Pokemon out of eggs that you do want to hatch will be Bagon and Beldum because they evolve into Salamence, which is one of the top 10 dragon type Pokemon in the game, so they're really good for raiding. And of course, Metagross, because it is also great for raiding, especially with the exclusive moves. If you evolve it before the week is over and you get that exclusive community day move, which is Meteor Mash, and I'm assuming they're gonna do the same thing with Charizard come the, the uh, community day. All of the Pokemon, actually Charizard, uh, uh, Venusaur, Blastoise, Pikachu, because I think that was the first community day, which I didn't actually didn't even do. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now, if you look at the picture for this event, you also see Absol, you see Plus and Mining, you see Wormpool, and you also see uh, uh, Ralts and Mawile. All those Pokemon can be shiny. I'm going to assume that Wurmple will be spawning more in the wild as part of the end more. I don't have that shiny. If you look all the way in the back, you see Zigzagoon and Surviper. And those also can be shiny. And I believe they are still in their respective regions. So of course, if you're on this side of the world, you will get shiny possible uh, Surviper and then Zigzagoon will be on the other side of the world. So. Keep that in mind, folks. If you don't have those, I'm sure those will be spawning more in the wild as well. So if you like this video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that way you know when I post another video. I am trying to be more consistent with posting videos because 
I like, I prefer this to be my job than what I actually do as a job. So, on that note, make sure you guys do subscribe, watch the video all the way through, please. And then let me know in the comments which Pokemon are you looking for the most during this next event. Let me know what shiny you want to get. And let me know how much you are waiting for this Kanto event to start because I am very geeked about it. I'm very excited. I can't wait. With that being said, it's your boy Pokey Games. Ha!